Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of SASTRACK. In today's video, you will see a detailed review of how Grammarly works and everything it has to offer. So let's start. More than 1 billion people are studying English worldwide, and nearly one-fourth of them speak English. Therefore, it's important that what you write is accurate. With Grammarly, it becomes a quick walk for people to check their spelling errors and grammatical mistakes in one go. It comes in various ways, such as web application, native Windows desktop application, browser extension, Microsoft Office add-ins, etc. So let's begin with a web application. You can get the web application by visiting app.grammarly.com. First, log in to the Grammarly dashboard by clicking the Login button over here. Then enter your email address. Click Continue. You may also use your Google account or your Facebook account. Next, key in your password, then click Sign In. Here, you can take a quick look at the already written or checked articles in Grammarly. So there are several. To start with a new article, click on the new or upload button over here to add content from anywhere so if you click on it then you may type or paste your text or upload a new document so let's test it out here we can type our title let's say sample text for example then here we can start typing content for grammarly to check so let's say most of the social network have outstanding advertising features that help in tart so I'm intentionally typing incorrect words or you know spelling mistakes or grammatical errors to see how Grammarly edits and corrects everything all right let's say this one for example it gave us five alerts and it gives us correction options grammar choices and yeah it corrects the mistakes which we are making as we type so here let's say correct our spelling so these are the options so have so we have four remaining alerts advertising so mostly spelling mistakes though it's not without its flaws it's not perfect um, it says everything's clear and polished but there are some parts for example this one it didn't need an apostrophe here and also this one elated is you know spelling is correct because it's you know the word exists but we are trying to say related here all right all right there's also an advanced version or commonly known as premium version over here if you click on that then it will give you advanced mistakes like punctuation correction word choices passive voice etc so yeah Let's go back to the dashboard over here. To check out or update your personal details, click on the account button over here. So it will bring us to the account settings page where you can update your name, email address, password, email preference. If you click on customize, you can improve your Grammarly experience by adding words to your personal dictionary. So over here, you can type any word and then click add and it will be added on your list of personal words or yeah, a list of words in your personal dictionary. You can also change your preferred language from the drop down button option available here. So moving to the subscription tab or section, you can go premium by clicking here and if you click on change you have three different plans so you can have the annual plan which is the best value of $11.66 per month a quarterly plan 
and monthly plan. Select the plan that you prefer and then click update. Premium gives you 250 more grammar checks, advanced plagiarism detector, and vocabulary enhancement suggestions. You can also opt for a team plan, which is known as Grammarly Business Plan at $12.50 per month per member. It includes all the premium features, discounted price, centralized billing, and monitoring tools. Moving on to the security option, you are provided with a two-step verification. Each time you sign in to your Grammarly account, you'll need your password and a verification code. So right now it's currently off. If you want to turn it on, then click turn on. Then if you are a business plan subscriber, then you are provided with a business style guide. So style guide is the next option where you will find a company dictionary, brand voice and tone, custom rules, along with reporting and statistics. So these are all the things under account. Let's go back to Grammarly. And it's time to go to apps. So these are the Grammarly apps, which you can incorporate to your Grammarly account as an add-in. So we can start with Microsoft Office add-ins. It is basically a great addition to your Word document and makes your work easier. It helps the best while writing emails to your colleagues, bosses, clients, and avoid embarrassing mistakes. Grammarly not only enables you to correct your spelling and punctuation, but it also helps to learn and improve your writing skills. So if you want to install the Microsoft Office add-in, then simply click the install button. Or use the mentioned code or link in the description to get a special discount and more attractive offers. So now click on the free download and after installing, you can check the new button under the home tab and also a new tab appears named Grammarly. There are various options available like contextual spelling, grammar, punctuation, etc. But not all of these are available in the free version. For example, plagiarism checker is only available with a paid version. There is also a settings option where you can choose to start with Grammarly as soon as you open the Word document. You can personalize your settings, update your profile info, check for updates, look at the proxy settings, and you can also move to the premium version by clicking there. After choosing the required settings, all the settings will appear on the sidebar where you can find the available corrections that is to be done, similarly as we saw in the web application. You can also have a quick tour and check the Frequently Asked Questions section by clicking Support. So here you can search for answers by typing your questions. There are featured articles which may be helpful depending on your needs. And then there are several other buttons here for your reference. So in the premium account, you can get many more add-on features by checking from the drop-down option available in the general default settings. So let's click premium. So using the premium account, you can get more accurate correction options and it works great with all types of writing. So work, personal and academic. And these are the side by side comparison between free and premium accounts. So clearly, you have more features with a premium account as opposed to the free version and there are additional features here. And here's a deeper look at premium only checks. So it checks grammar, punctuation, sentence structure, and style. You can get several links from the description below. Use our affiliate link to get the account at a discounted price than before. Now, moving on to the desktop application and browser extension, both the links work similarly to that of the web application and Microsoft Office add-ons. If you want to install the browser extension, move into the browser extension. It will help you to write correctly on social media websites, add blog comments, reviews, comments, etc. By popular demand, Grammarly's keypad is also available on most Android and iOS devices. 
For desktop applications, click the download option available. And after download, it works similarly to the way we saw in the Grammarly website application. Apart from the things I mentioned, there are also a couple of extra benefits Grammarly offers, which include their blogs and their handbook. Using both can help you use Grammarly like a pro and improve your English in one go. All these are available at the footer section. So to summarize, Grammarly provides a plagiarism checker, grammar checker, spelling checker, punctuations, word choices, system mistakes, etc. These are the main services offered by Grammarly and they are really helpful, especially if you want to create that perfect mistake-free letter or text, whether for work or school or anything under the sun. And that's it for my review of Grammarly. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notifications quickly. And if you have any questions, feel free to write to us in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.